Hi, good morning everybody. This is Ken Zaffunery. The subject today is pitch control on the Zaffoon. This instrument is very difficult to have pitch control because it's very flexible. You can take a note and go go all over the place. Um, you want to learn how to control that pitch and I want to thank uh, our Zephoon member Robin for asking this question about pitch control because it's very important on the Zephoon. It's the reason for that partly is the shortness of the instrument and partly the type of mouthpiece it has. Now, I rehearsed for this video yesterday and uh, it's really tough to look at a tuner app, which I've got on screen here, thanks to my Chromecast. And it's jumping all over the place right now. Let's just calm it down. Uh, it tells what pitch it is here. I know you guys probably can't read that very well. It's saying F sharp right now. Uh, so trust me as to what it says. But if it's in the middle, we're pretty much on pitch. And if um, it goes too far to the right or too far to the left, you know, you're flat or sharp or into the next tone. So uh, there's about four different things that affect your uh, pitch and four different ways you can control your pitch. The uh, first thing, if, you've, if you're new to the Zaffoon, you may have played another reed instrument. Now, if you've played a clarinet, you'll know the ambush, you hold the clarinet pretty much at an angle like this. And uh, just to show you what pitch I'm playing, I'm going to play, this will be a G. Uh, fairly close uh, using the A fingering because it's a B flat instrument and uh, saxophone here you notice saxophone much different angle entering your mouth and I'll also play a G so we can see uh, so without much trouble we get right on the G and you can flex, flex the tone on both the clarinet and sax, but it's not as changeable as it is on the Zaffoon. So, if you play the Zaffoon like the clarinet, that's, if you can tell, it's a G sharp, not even a G. And if you play it like this, I was playing an F sharp, which is a half step below the G. So your first thing is your angle. You want to go about at a 45 degree angle on the Zephoon, and uh, that'll help you get in pitch. Next thing you want to know is uh, the uh, amount of lip you're giving on your reed. If your lower lip is up over your teeth too much, if you're going to go sharp. So here's what the title. I'm playing a G sharp right now. And uh, if I take my lip and kind of pout, I'm exaggerating, pursing it out a little bit, not covering the lower teeth, we'll get more like. So again, yeah, it's even below an F sharp there. So right, happy medium. Now it's difficult using an app to uh, tune your Zephoon because you don't play it with your eyes, you play with your ears and your whole being. You, you feel the note, you hear the note and you have the intentionality to play that note. It's not a visual thing, it's not a concept, it's a sound. So uh, a lot easier to match the sound if you are hearing a sound. So uh, 
going to ask my friend, the Echo, to play a G and we'll match it up if this works. Alexa, play, tell Pitch Pipe to play G. I can't find the song Tell Pitch Pipe to play G. Try again. Alexa, tell Pitch Pipe, play G. Please tell me the pitch to play by saying the name of the desired key. G. Here's the pitch for G. See, we got it right in the middle there. Over here, you are pretty good. That's not using my eyes, that's using my ears. And the knowledge of what I need to do to change pitch. There's two more things that can affect your pitch. Um, one of them is um, how deep this is in your mouth. So the depth, so we now got angle, lip, depth. So if you put the capoon uh, in deeper, it drops and if you come out toward the tip of the mouthpiece it's still running a little sharp there but that's another thing how deep it is in your mouth and uh, one other aspect is uh, yeah, how tight your how, how open is your mouth is it are you opening wide or are you closing tight? The tighter you come down on it, of course, you're going to go sharp. And if you open up, it's going to go flat. So, it's opening and closing. It's going way above, it's going way below. So, the goal is to get the sound in your mind, and then uh, when you get the pitch right, and you're in tune, memorize what it feels like. That's the only thing you can do. It's a, it's a feeling. You have to know what this feels like when you're playing in pitch. And then when you pick it up, you'll have a lot more confidence that you're pretty much in tune. And uh, another thing to know, some of the notes on the Zafoon are a lot more prone to going off pitch. So the lower notes are easier to control. The uh, C, the low C for instance. Pretty much I drifted a little sharp as I played. Um, pretty much within the range. Going up an octave from C, the upper end of the low register, C to the high F. Those notes are very sensitive to the amount of pressure. Now, you need, this is important also, the embouchure you use on the low C is exactly the same you want to use all through the range of the exact moon. You aren't changing your embouchure on each note. Now, there is a tendency sometimes when you attack a note to tighten up a little, like when you're talking, your mouth is closed, then it's open, close up, no, steady. Everything's got to be steady as you attack. And when you get, it, it can be, it can feel different, but you have to uh, keep it, keep it steady. It's kind of like you lock it in once you get that right feeling. And it's, it's a very, it's generally a pretty soft feeling. Um, not hard. In fact, when you tighten up, the tone of the zafoon gets kind of thin and irritating, even. <laughs> uh, but I was having a little trouble there. Keep it open, so you keep it in tune. So. Uh, when you're hearing other music, it's very helpful. I just lost my screen.
hope that didn't affect the video. Uh, so we're going to go out with a song from Robin, a uh, backing track. Uh, it's a uh, Wonderful World by Louis Armstrong, and I'm going to play, attempt to play in tune, and I'm pretty sure I will. Uh, so it's over, let's see, come on, computer, you're, uh, okay, here it goes. Start that. Uh, go back over to my video. I hope I didn't disappear on you. I don't hear it. What's going on? Just a minute. Folks, bear with me. Technology. Uh, uh, water. Water. Wrong one. Wrong one. I see it. Here we go. This is in the key of F, by the way. Zapoon will override the uh, background.